Oh, the things I've seen and done. Yeah, I mean, how? what will top Boss Cow? Not sure. So we are going to go to the year of 1963, October 25th, according oh, to that time card. It, I almost forgot about Boss Cow. Yeah, uh, so Boss Cow apparently went to a machine, got a card, and then went into this time machine and saw something... And then ran away in fear. What could it have possibly been? So we have an alien, an alien mothership, complete with a time machine. What sorts of damage should have been caused by now? And oh, hello, Mama! It's not just any Mama. Or do you want to make a baby? What? Bosco, Bosco. That's Ms. Bosco. Oh, Ms. Okay, this is before she had Bosco. She was also an SJW. Miss. Of, co- of fucking course. Who are you? Well, back then, that was a little more acceptable. Finally, well, yeah, the so police. they could sort of get away with it. Catch, that fool. catch what fool? Which fool did you want us to catch, exactly? That... That man who just came in here yelling about conspiracies and busted oh up the place. Oh, my Oh. always did know how to make a That's the thing that terrified him beyond belief. His own mother. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you tell us more about the man who trashed Well, to be fair, considering we have a time machine here, this makes perfect sense now. That should narrow the list of... Now, how he became, to, became a cow, that's another story. Man with eyes. <laughs> then he stumbled back and ran right into my baby maker. Ow, <laughs> Wait. What is the baby maker? I don't. We're here to help your son. I don't have a son. You think it's okay? So she has not yet given birth to Bosco. Oh, but she's so but da- goddamn, she's preparing for it. It's yeah. So as you're getting yeah, as you're getting the point, she well, wants to have a baby. Well, the problem is well, first things first, she need to find a man. More than once. Doesn't matter. I'm not. Either that or a good donor. But when True. Do have one. She's going then again, to Bosco, then again. she wants a daughter. Uh oh. It's one of those goddamn stories. I'd be crushed if we had a son. I made uncomfortable. Well, that explains the pink hat. Sam. That I that I know family guy being all photos of you in girl dresses. <laughs> that was creepy. And then I know family guy being all like it's the night. Can you check again? They can talk about putting a It's a girl. It's a girl. I can invent a baby making machine. I mean, I I know it's been said to death, but I really do feel bad for Meg. Like she doesn't deserve half of the shit she gets. Uh, Especially in the most recent writing, they just have pretty much made her a punching bag. Yeah, I mean, I I mean, I mean, you can make the argument for earlier seasons, but nowadays it's like the the horse is dead, dude. I've already got my own samples in there. So let's call her. Uh, how do you get the DNA samples? Isn't that obvious? So, do you want to know what happened here? Uh, sure. Saliva, fool. For, first of all, the DNA samples is handled oh. through the saliva. <laughs> Nothing else. Well, hey, better saliva than anything Where'd else. Where sample? Oh, him. Well, I was just in Washington, D.C. for a special occasion. And when I was touring the White House, I met a nice man in a dark suit. Ooh. He was polite and didn't say much. Oh, devil damn it. Like his spit was as good as anybody else's, so I picked him. Okay, well then, why is Bosco a cow? See you later, Ms. Bosco. <laughs> well, so, so first off, let me just let me just spoil some of this for you right now, uh, James. The Man. reason, shut up. Cut it out, Max. You don't even like girls. Oh, right, right. There you go. Oh, also, you know what? That would that would explain all explain all the occasional fan art I see of these two, especially from one artist I read. Oh, ready? Just a huge waste of time. <gasps> I have never been as turned on as I am right now. Oh no. Uh, what? You just never found the right woman, and I never found the She's right woman. She's actually attracted to him. Forget For the baby. what? Wow. Catastrophic temper. What are we just this? made? We, why, why I was expecting, but my wife we just made Bosco no longer want to. We're about to like make Bosco like not exist because she doesn't want to have a baby Max anymore. Like oh no! Oh, oh. Well, to be fair, considering he's already a cow. When did that start exactly? I think it all goes back to that time we were. Uh-huh. Nope. Okay. Yeah, we've it's done we've done this shindig once before. Uh, we're you. better than that, Max. And we're trying to like, basically, let me just say right now, I'm Max's indifference to not Max. Okay, oh, this is part of a puzzle that we're gonna have to solve later. Women. The fact that you Max is you? not at all caring about girls—that's what apparently she likes. I'm president uh, of the um. Uh, okay then. And also, if I could just elaborate just on the joke that James know. made, um, not, not that I'm gonna change anyone's minds on it, but I always had the impression that Max was the kind of person that, like, 
He doesn't really have any particular preference. Like he doesn't really like anything. He just he just is. He just right. Yeah. He just right. Right. He he's, he's an anomaly in and of himself. So also the reason why Bosco is looking like a cow is because. Uh, you take the spit oh, that's what they meant. Yes, yeah, so the whole thing that we're seeing right now is that the reason why he's a cow is because somehow the spit sample got mixed up. So oh. it was her DNA mixed with a cow. I wonder how that happened. That's not the generally agreed upon method, Max. I don't know. Yeah, Perhaps I'm trying to think of it. How, how, do you, how do you get the cow in here? It's my yeah. chemical and I'm not gonna lie, this really was different than what I was expecting. Like, it, if you guys were wondering why I reacted when she was talking about her trip at the White House, I thought it was implying that she had the baby with Super Bowl. No, no, no. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, and this is the thing that this is the thing that Bosco dropped. So this is. Yeah. So that is a carbon. Remember that it was that carbon dating machine that we got from the Sybil. Yeah. So he modified it to be similar to how THEM works. In that now, whenever I scan something, whenever I scan something, it prints out a time card. Oh, okay. Now, hmm. what the time card is for, I'm not sure. So, let's try Max. This ought to be interesting. Let's see what happens. So, here's the th stinky logo. Huh. Stinky? So, here's the part of this game is, you want to, like, start dating everything. Everything? Intergalactic freelance police logo. Intergalactic freelance police? How about Mom Bosco? What was that? Let's see what she gives us. It printed a time card with a presidential seal and some strange... Presidential things. seal. Okay. So, yeah, I can now start... So now, I can start collecting more time cards, and basically, this is how I unlock new areas, because we're never leaving this UFO that we've gotten ourselves onto. We need to just start going to time trials. And we go... Well, hence, hence, the, hence the title, Chariot of the Dogs. Oh, yeah, remember so, this place actually wasn't actually wasn't a freaking a security measure. Brand hang on, we hang on, we have to hang on, we have to seal the time loop. We need to make this look. We need to make this turn to vinegar when we find it later. Oh yeah. Just let that breathe for a few decades. There we go. Now it'll become vinegar by the time we get back to this in the. Wow. Well, hey, you know, I mean, if, if part of our part of our job is to fix a few paradoxes, then why the fuck not? Or just create some in the process. Yeah. Also, I think we got a cork out of that, which is something I think we needed. I don't know. But all I know is I that think I, we do. That was gonna, that was gonna bug me if I didn't seal that time loop up. And those freaking hot dogs <laughs> have been here all this time. Yes, yeah, seriously. I'm kind of I'm I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what exactly would have happened if you used the modified um, dater on those hot dogs. Like, what kind of card you would have gone from that? So you can think about what you've done. Oh no! Oh well, I guess that's fair. Don't mind the fact that nobody reacts to this time traveling elevator in front of them. Welcome oh, to the world of Sam and Max. Uh oh, Bosco's going transparent because of what we did. Oh boy. Oh, I'm actually surprised he didn't go full on transparent, Sam, but. A catastrophic temporal paradox. That. What the hell did you guys do? Max, uh, you made Mama Bosco decide not to have a baby. That meant Bosco was never born. <gasps> but if Bosco was never born, I see. Sa born, Sam is definitely we taking this well. Back to meet Mama I mean, Bosco. his model isn't even isn't even animating. Neat. Are you fools just gonna stay in there explaining everything? Or are you gonna fix it? We'll me? fix you in a moment. Give a guy a cool well, you have to think about it, though. I mean, this this chapter is definitely throwing us in for a loop because it's pulling off all sorts of things we would never have expected with this trope. Yeah. Agreed. Save. I mean, I guess it go I mean, goes to show why some people love this one so much. This uh, season so much. Yeah, season three, and again, I think season three did a really nice job, but I also just think season two felt a little more classic, and, and you'll see what I mean. They definitely did a lot of cool things with season three, but this just felt more like the classic Telltale point of click. Before they started devolving into just being the story game as opposed to the story puzzler. That honestly makes me a little bit worried if they, uh, actually makes me a little bit worried if they were to do Sam Max, but they just give it a story thing, because I don't want it to be a, a Wolf Among Us kind of thing. I want it to be, like, this. I mean, I, I'll think... I'm gonna... I'm gonna disagree. I actually wouldn't mind if they did something along the lines of, like, their modern games, but only if they did, like, a little bit more, like, tongue-in-cheek, like, they're kind of, like, acknowledging what Telltale's pretty much become, and you know Sam and Max are the type of IP that can get away with something like that. Of course. Now that I think about it, though, I wonder how, this, I wonder how Sam and Max will look in this day and age. Like, I mean, this was from, like, 2007, 2008, hasn't it? They probably do, like, they probably do Poker 2, where they're more comic book and Max had a dark black nose. Well, yeah, yeah I remember that. 
I think that was still like on the. I think that was just on the cusp of like the current generation we're in now. So. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, that's right. One of the time card stamps stinky. So. Yep. Oh There's God! Sam. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I just realized something. One of those stamp stamp cards is for stinky. Does that mean we're gonna meet with you know who? I think. Yep. Let's go and find out. Grandpa Stinky, I missed you so. This is taking forever. Grandpa Stinky. Yeah. Oh, look at that old sailor. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, I might need to get a closer look at his face, but what I, you I because. Want. Oh yeah, they did. It looks like they pretty much took Lucius's head from the bone game bone. and just placed it on the new body. I could see that. Well, just make him look older with a beard and yeah. Would you say it works in this case? It does. Oh hey! Oh shit, they've known Buster Blaster for a long time. Heck, you, you think they just know- just wait, hang on. Hey Grandpa Stinky. Hey Stinky. Are you the parents of those two parasites? Uh -huh. And he has about as much of an opinion as us as, uh, uh, Stinky Jr. Yeah, female Stinky. But, but at least he doesn't lie. Like, he, he's actually a pretty, like, you'll see, especially in Season 3 and stuff, he is a pretty, like, he's a pretty honest, cool fellow. Well, that's good to know. And, and I gotta say, I kind of prefer his aesthetic in terms of decorating the restaurant as opposed to the tacky stuff Girl Stinky did. I mean, look at this place. Yeah, it actually looks a little better. It looks a little better than what we have now. I don't believe this guy ever was from the comics. I think he's original for these for this little game. He's as well. original, and so is Girl Stinky. I'd like to meet the man. Come to think of it, how many characters in this in in the in this series are actually um, new to this, and how many actually return from the comics? We want order. I don't well, know. not counting Sam and Max themselves. I know for Flint. a fact that Flint and Bosco are from the comics. Okay. okay. Also, I'm sorry. I love that. It was like I'd like to meet the man who could murder old Stinky. Hi, I'm Max. For you, hooligans, when I got so much cooking to do. Oh wait, we're in, oh the gooey molasses tar cake. That's right. What's a gooey molasses tar cake? It's um, oh, I also remember. It might be a stretch, a but I guess you can also count like Harry Molman, well, since Molman do come from like the comics and Hit the Road. Okay. They're just they're just following on the trend and actually giving us another one, another Molman to uh, work with. It's the one thing no one has no one has ever thought to use before. <gasps> what what is it? Please, I want to try some of it. We're from the public health board. Almost none of the vermin in this establishment are wearing federally approved hairnets. <gasps> <Gun types. gasps> Weak and pathetic. If you can find hairnets small uh, enough to fit them. Is that how relevant Actually, that is that's even today? Question. Like, if you have like rats wearing hairnets, would they just wear it on their heads or would they cover their entire body with the net? That'd be adorable. Also, might as well get it out now because it's, it's going to be kind of sudden and stuff when it's shown off in season three. Uh, yeah, the cook of the 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 chef for Stinky's restaurant is a giant cockroach. So are you going to show us to our table? Oh, named Sal. Okay, I guess I would explain all the weird dishes that made that's made in this place. Yeah, uh, that's right. That's where he came from because I do remember. Slight spoiler: I do remember he returns in season three. I just forgot if he was in two or not. Well, I, I, also I don't think he ever appears physically in two, but I know he's referenced by name a few times. I guess it's supposed to be a big thing, but I almost feel like it was in the comic at some point. Or well, giant cockroaches have been a thing in Sam Max for a while. It couldn't hurt to take just a second. Well, hasn't been a thing in Sam Max at this point. Fair enough. So we'll take a sample of this tar cake so that we can use it to analyze later. But for now, young Sam and Max. What are you guys doing to poor Buster? another paradox. I don't know. Hey, little guy. What are you scamps up to? I'm only playing Bluster Blaster, the newest and best video game ever made. Duh. Nice try. So... Well, uh, yeah, let's I vaguely remember something trying to make a game here. What are you guys doing? What was it? There was my let's party. See. Oh, a party. A birthday Get party. Prom and after prom kissing retreat tonight, Max. Boring. No, it's a kissing retreat. <laughs> Wait a minute. Kiss a prom? <laughs> Wait, how old are these kids? High school? Sounds like a fun and informative time for a no. young person. They see, uh, they look, that's they my look response. Like, it's like... <laughs> You're the loser, loser. No, you <gasps> Jenny Tellerich. Oh boy. Also, I love how I know it's not a big thing to dwell on, but I find it humorous the fact that their voices are the exact same even when they're kids. <laughs> Pretty much. They're like, well, well, Sam, young Sam is a little bit higher pitched, but. Only a little. 
I don't know. I never noticed. Oh, sure. You know what kind of reminds me of a, the finale of the Sam X cartoon where they're having, like, flashbacks? And one of them shows, like, them in high school, and it's like... Harvey Atkins, bless his heart, tried to sound younger, no. but the guy who voiced Max, um, he just, again, didn't even try. What are you working on? Aww. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers, but we're strangers who have candy and cool guns you can play with. Yep. Well, that should be okay. Okay. I'm working <laughs> on a new arcade game. Yeah, well, no. Well, that ethic nowadays. Yeah, they didn't know Bluster Blaster. What are you doing Sam Bluster made Blaster, Bluster Blaster. 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 Oh, oh da, da, da. Now I remember. You used to be Sam, what what reason would you have to make him in the first though, place? All this time we've spent talking to the cops, and you never once mentioned you're the guy who built Bluster Blaster. It just never seemed relevant, I guess. Gosh dang you, lazy writing. <laughs> uh, he just didn't get. He just couldn't be asked to care. To do than work on this game but then again, how, then again, then again how many child, how many things you've done in your childhood do you actually commit to memory nowadays? <laughs> Lame. I guess it depends on the impact. I f uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, I, I, oh, no, it seems like the only things I ever remember from my childhood are like the really cringy things I wish I never remembered for the life of me. Like I things that, like, am in a similar boat. Those moments where you just suddenly, like, a memory hits you from something you did when you were, like, 14. You're like, oh no, why'd I do that? Why did I put piss in the punch bowl? That you grew up okay, maybe not that extreme, but... Why did, I try and do, why did I try and do something serious and think I sounded cool, but in actuality I just sounded pretentious? Turning into something why did I why call down to some call me Johnny? Who cares? <laughs> no, in your case it's more like I didn't know it's because... Well, even so, I just didn't know any better, and even then, I still I still have my occasional occasional moments where I accidentally quote, quote one of my favorite YouTubers without realizing it. That's exactly what I base my entire sense. No, I mean I, I still do like. I, 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 sometimes it's fun. Other times I do try and. Hey, oh. hey, 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 hey! Don't put that down. <laughs> okay, that's not too fun. As if Sam was going to do it anyway. With only a one megahertz processor and this eight-bit I/O adapter, the AI doesn't get enough cycles. Can the dork lingo, Chubs? Just give me the recap. It'd be easy. I feel like it should be weird that I find it. I feel like it's weird that I find Lil Max so devil damn. No, Lil Max. I meant to say Lil Sam. Little Max. I think it should be weird that I find Lil Sam so devil damn cute, but I don't know why. It's weird. Okay, so I think it's just. I think it's just a small stature compared to everyone else. Promised to bring it back. I hate to think what would happen if I had. And also the shirt. Like I don't know. I mean, who wouldn't want a Max shirt? Sure thing, kid. Oh yeah, also if we try and talk to them, they say they don't want to, they, none of them want to be Check police it's officers. It's from 1963. Mm, I wonder what changed that. Signed by the president. <gasps> a letter fair, signed by the president. Calling them police officers nowadays is kind of a stretch. Where that is true. No they're just, they're pretty much, they're pretty much only. accidental I vigilantes. That word back then. <laughs> yeah. The president's wife wasn't named Maxine. Shh. What is this, the Temperance League? Alright, fine. Looks like this case but, uh, let it be, so there's a letter signed by the president. Hmm. All right, let's vandalize it. Oh look, and Satan. Looks huh. like he was a satisfied wow. customer. He must so, really love the food here. Distract Stinky for me. So you know how? Uh... Look, Stinky. Yeah. What? What? Somebody's trying to break into your display. <laughs> That's not how you. Real smooth, little buddy. Oh, you uh... want me to distract him from you? You know you should have been more specific, Sam. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, he seems alright. So anyway, remember how that DNA sampler needs saliva? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, we just yeah, we can use the old saliva on that letter. Oh, that from the lick it anyway. Okay and, then. Uh, anyway, bluster blaster looks okay, but it looks like it's too nice. It's always like, oh, you almost got it. That's not the bluster blaster I know. Hmm. Yeah. Oh god. Meanwhile, what the, the hell? Future. More visitors. I don't know how to use a light bulb with that. There, there. He's yeah. having Alzheimer's, and his wheelchair is a Dalek body. Hello, future me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what? Shoot, Max. Apparently, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Maybe just suddenly turning into Iron Ironside. Together. Basically, if you want maybe. the joke, James, Sam is having Alzheimer's, hey, but Max. he can also he can only repeat those Look, random bits of dialogue that you get when you randomly start putting two and two together in a point like adventure game. Mm, uh, he's just his brains. I want to keep these shoestrings. Can't get rid of those. He's, he's just going nuts. Just, what even, what even the hell's going on? I love how the office itself is just largely unchanged, unlike everything else. There's flying cars out there. They're just stuck here in their one. Well, outside of, outside of the Jetson, Jetson desk background down there, they're just behind the times. 
So much well, aside from uh, Max, obviously. Oh, the wonders yeah. I could S Sam's just, pre Sam's just pretending to get, give a crap. Action. No, he's trying to pretend that he's getting on with the times. Time but to be fair, okay. actually, now to think about it, would Doctor Who still be relevant in this day and age? <laughs> It'll find a way. The short answer is yes, because they still keep making episodes of that show. Oh! <gasps> So actually, so actually, I'm actually kind of uh, confused, actually, because I, I never thought to ask, uh, Hive, do we know what time period Sam and Max is set in normally? All of the above. Okay. Honestly, the way, the, honestly, I would just say the present. Okay. But the kind of present that doesn't feel, that's still, that can be seen as somewhat timeless. shoot Max. You're not going to shoot Max. I'm not. I'm not even selecting anything anymore. Do you remember how we cured Bosco of his parentage problems? Right. Bosco. Bosco. Oh, he's the guy who invented Skynet, isn't he? What? No. Wait, what? I was hoping I'd be the one who did that. Sorry, Max. Much about that <laughs> You're just off by a margin. But why the fuck, of all people, why would Bosco do that? He's the freaking conspiracy a ton of exciting future nut. I, I would, you know, I would totally, well, we see, I could totally see Bosco doing, trying so hard to stop a conspiracy that he inevitably creates jumps. one on accident. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say it's like. In his in his attempts to stop conspiracies, he created Skynet, not knowing what it would bring to the world. <laughs> I I will protect myself for the rest of my life from conspiracies with Skynet, and thus accidentally create. transmogrifying vapor wolves of Rifle Seventeen. Booster Rocket, Van Allen I'm in my office. Yes, you are. Spit off old Max that I, old Sam that I probably should. Is he voiced by the same guy who's doing Sam right now? I just trying. I think it is. Yeah. It's linked from my pocket. Would have been funny if, he, if, if just for the sake, the sake of sake of another joke, he was actually voiced by Bill Farmer. So I would have been actually. I would have actually loved that if it was Bill Farmer and playing have, a really and old. And have Max be Sam, Nick Jackson. Yes. That would work. Or Jameson. I mean. I would actually really like that. Does that guy, oh, is that guy still relevant? Oh, oh. Hello. Um, I, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure he still is. Like, I, I know it's kind of obvious that Bill Farmer still is, but I'm pretty sure Nick Jameson is. I can't quite read what exactly is, is on that strip here. with the birthday guy. Oh yeah, the, the, the mariachi dude. Yeah, the mariachi dude. Just, oh, there we go. From the local paper. Oh, just says adios. Okay. Who'd we get this guy? Local mariachi Pedro died this week due to complications from. From what? A perfectly aimed bullet to the evil doer's cold black heart. Singing happy birthday. It's too, oh, it's too blurry. Crap. That's what happens when you. That's what happens when you run out of ink, ink when printing something. Yeah. Also, uh, if you remember, so that stinky, I guess, went later went on to make some big adhesive, and the secret ingredient was bitumen thirteen. Spoilers. Now we now now we now, we now know the secret ingredient to the gooey molasses tar cake, which is super super sticky. Okay then. Gotcha. And what will we use this information for? I don't know. Are we gonna go to the see the president? Probably. So join us in the next part where we'll be going to the old 1963. Till next time, everybody. Bye. I want to use these parts for later.